Welcome back students. I hope you all are much awaiting for the course Thermal Engineering 1 important concepts as well as the questions under J2H R18 as well as R16 regulation for mechanical engineering students. The course is all about problematic as well as certain uh, derivations and 3D part. The students taking this course should have from, strong foundation in the course thermodynamics. So let's look at the unit wise important and gunshot questions. List out the various types of combustion chambers used in SI engines as well as the cooling of IC engines and its methods, aid standard versus fuel aids, uh, cycle differences and the significance of air cycle may be one of the very important question and even this may be also one of the gunshot question. Mix required, mixture requirement in SI engine for different speed conditions and draw the cross section of a single cylinder SI engine along and explain the components. From this part we can expect 1A as well as 1B dear students. Next. The two-stroke versus four-stroke engine differences and the knocking phenomenon as a engine and cold starting as a engine and the reasons for that and why inlet valve is open before TDC and closed after BDC in SI and CI engines and the list out the features. From this part, we can expect to be a as well as to be students. As per the COVID pattern, we'll be getting two questions I mean 30 marks from the unit one. Please do work out accordingly and you're supposed to work out very neatly how to take a 3D paper that is being uploaded in my channel to score a better mark. Please do go through it and work out accordingly. And the unit two is all about the most test and the motoring test is the friction part phenomenon of knock in CI and S engine related to knocking you'll be getting for sure one gunshot question a fuel rating influence the knocking and the effect of different operate operating parameters on flame propagation velocity to avoid knocking and the knocking what are the different knocking agents related to knocking you're going to get one question for sure dear students for a 15 mark and define the delay period and the factors affecting the delay period and from this part you are going to get the question of 3a as well as 3b later anti-knocking additives types in SI engine as well as the differences between uncontrolled and controlled combustion and the percentage of heat release in CI engines and the methods to obtain air spill in CI engine and explain and also a problem for a sure you'll be going to get from the 4A or 4B to calculate the indicated mean effective pressure or indicated power or the thermal efficiency for a four-stroke petrol engine certain problems will be also asked sometimes the students make to work out the problems this is all about 4A as well as 4B dear students. Next, we we'll look at the third unit. It is all about the centrifugal air compressor and the working and the vane compressor working diagram. From this two part, we can expect one question and the significance of positive displacement compressor used to compress the air and method of conducting retardation test in the internal combustion using Williams line method and the derived volumetric efficiency of an reciprocating air compression. This part you will be going to get this question for sure, as well as this question may be also asked is asked several times. We can expect five way as well as 5b from this part and the role of impeller in the centrifugal compressor and the roots of air blower along with a neat sketch explain the term as well as how pv diagram is different from the reciprocating air compressor and the single state acting proper single acting compressor as well as double acting air compressor you'll be getting the problems for sure and this problem is one of the gunshot question related to calculate the bore stroke or the volumetric efficiency or the thermal efficiency indicated power or size of the cylinder is a one of the gunshot question if the problem is asked that will be asked for 15 mark dear students and do not just work out only the theory you are supposed to work out the problems also from this this is all about 6a or 6a or 6b from this part this is all about the unit 3 later let's look into the fourth unit expression for polytropic efficiency of a centrifugal compressor and the differences between uh, the dynamic compressor and positive displacement compressor is a one of the very very important and gunshot question and the actual flow compressor problems will be asked to find the velocity of the flow and the number of stages this may be also one of the very very important and gunshot question from the fourth unit as per the covid pattern you are going to get only one question we can expect one theory in the a part as well as b part may be the problem derive the equation of for the estimation of optimum pressure ratio of a gas turbine and what is fluid slip and the slip factor they may be asking you to explain and a formula to calculate the slip factor in a centrifugal compressor from this part which i have talked here till now from the fourth unit you'll be getting one question i mean 7a as well as 7b dear students this is are the important questions still the seventh question and the eighth question is all about the gas turbines i can give you a gist of gas turbines as well as the types and the problems and the derivations 
questions related to it if you are interested to work with the eighth unit is all about the gas turbines you need to work out all these concepts these are the various important questions taken into consideration by looking at the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of jm2h please do work out accordingly and clear this subject in a single attempt as many students were asked please try to share this with all your friends and do subscribe if you haven't as well as like and uh, do comment if you are looking for any other course good luck as well as god bless you all thank you dear students